we have a great pyramid-sized, potentially hazardous asteroid barreling towards Earth. It's such a fast trajectory, and they picked it up, thank goodness, because it's big enough to pick up. It wasn't like the Chelyabinsk that came in a couple of years ago. They said they couldn't pick up because they uh, backtracked it and said it was coming in from behind the sun. Since it was behind the sun, the sun was too bright, etc. So that was the excuse why they couldn't pick it up, or it was too small. But even though it was small, it damaged 7,000 buildings. But anyway, this one was found in 2006, the QQ-23. It's supposed to be bigger than the Empire State Building, bigger than the Eiffel Tower, etc. The potentially hazardous asteroid, slightly larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, set to hurtle past Earth this month at a whopping speed of 18 kilometers per second. It's dubbed 2019 OU1. It measures 160 meters in diameter, equivalent to the Washington Monument, or 20 meters bigger than the Egyptians, Egypt's most famous pyramid, the Khufu Giza Pyramid. So, you know, we have all types of asteroids coming right at us. We're also having perceived sh showers. Uh, a lot of people say that it's a comet that has been broken up into asteroids and they're pounding us. This one here, dubbed 2009 OU1, 2019, sorry, it was just this year found. The Apollo-class celestial rock is said to whiz past Earth the end of the month, August 28th, at a phenomenal 18 kilometers per second. And according to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CENOs, we have a list of them on space weather, and I'll leave a link below for you for that. The asteroid will come 40 times closer to Earth than Venus, or our nearest neighbor, uh, which is our nearest neighbor, when it passes at a distance of about 1 million kilometers. NASA rates any cosmic projectile with an approach distance of less than 7.5 million kilometers, or 0 0.05 astronomical units. An astronomical unit, as we know, is the distance between the Sun and Earth, which is 93 million miles. So anything less than that, 0 0.05 AUs and measuring over 460 feet in diameter as a potentially hazardous object, near-Earth object. August has already been quiet this month for asteroids, even though we had the other one, larger than the Empire State Building, the 2006 QQ23, the orbital path that I have here for you. That flew past Earth at about 10,400 miles per hour in the early hours of Saturday morning. Now we go to space weather so that we see. Uh, okay, let's open that up. Sorry, I have so many tabs opened up. So we have the Proceed update and uh, the Aurora, Aurora, the Arctic Auroras are back. And we're going to talk about what they have found, which is really shocking which means that it's another radi radiation um, danger for astronauts, a natural particle accelerator 40,000 miles above Earth's surface. We're going to talk about that because it's very, you'll see what it means. Now, um, we have had 46 fireballs coming into Earth, and we have the near-Earth asteroids 1,983, as we said, 2019 OU1, August 28th, at 2.7 lunar distances, diameter of about 94 meters, velocity of 13.1 kilometers per second. And now the, uh, the next one after that will be a couple of days later, which will be 2019 OF2. As you can see, that one was also discovered this year. OF2, September 3rd, that diameter is a little bit smaller, 59 meters, and that's going to, uh, for 53 meters, and that's going to be at a safe 18.3 lunar distances. So the one that's coming at us will be the end of August. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, if we have binoculars or a good telescope. 
Um, if anyone has had the good fortune to invest in one, they'll probably be able to see it. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.